Um, Mike, the, when you say release the waste, what, what is the purpose of releasing the waste other than the releasing the, the lower back so there's no tension or um, tightness? You're releasing the hip joints, which will obviously open up the joints. Um, but what is the actual purpose of releasing your waste? When you have been practicing saying for a long time, and when you have been using the principles, you develop the ability to break through your body into the earth. So when we can do that, we sink in the yong chen, the point behind the toes, the bubbling well. That connects with the earth. The energy from your body goes into the earth and then comes up again. But if you cannot release your waist, it, then you, you're, not, you're unable to relax your body enough to sink in the earth. So we use the earth to move. You can see that with kangaroos, with springbok. If you watch, say, a lion or a cheetah chasing lunch, it doesn't run like people do. It sinks in the earth and uses the earth's energy to move. You can see it's coming from here and sinking, and it's like doing this. If you watch the end of a horse race, you'll see the same thing. The horses are sinking in the earth and moving. People run on top. Okay? So we use the earth's energy to move in Tai Chi. That's why, well, that's the, the main purpose of <laughs> to be natural, like the animals are natural. They're naturally in one. Mm -hmm. They naturally move with nature. So we want to do the same thing. So we release the waste, and the energy concentrates the meridian system, if you like, or the energy flow around the leg. When you release the waist, you must release your hips, your knees, and your ankles as well. Everything must sink down. So human beings, do they have a tendency to almost like tense everything up and actually pull themselves up off yeah. the earth? They're using their muscles and bones. So we need to let that go. And energy yes. to hold themselves up. Okay, above the ground. So we yes. want to release the waist so that the whole system can then unwind itself and sink down and through. Because our energy is a, is a centripetal and centrifugal force. It's going down and it's coming up. If, no, if not for that, one of two things would happen. You'd be flat on your face on the ground all the time or you'd be floating in the air like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> what we want to do is unify that up and down force. Yeah, yin and yang. That's what yin and yang is, yes. up and down. So when we release the waist and everything sinks into the, the leg or through the leg and through the yong chen into the ground, we're actually cultivating or using the earth's energy to move. That's coming up then again through the waist to almost animate the rest of the body. So when we say relax the waist, basically you must relax the whole body and allow this natural movement to show. To, to show. The waist being the, the, the middle or the, the center of the upper and the lower, you want to relax that to harmonize upper and lower. Yes. Okay. You'll see when we talk about the, few, the other principles, then we talk about the upper body, mm -hmm. unity of the upper body and the lower mm -hmm. body. Yeah, that makes sense. Fantastic.